closet is that I'm going to use. I'm going to have an extra square and extra. Um, I think the part that stood out to me was extra five. Um, it talks about when Esther requests what Esther requests to the king. Um, if you have your Bibles near you or anywhere around you, I, I encourage you to open them up and read along with me. I'm going to be reading Esther 5, 1 through, um, 1 through 5. It's the part that stood out to me in Esther. Um, on the third day, Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner court in the place, in the palace. In front of the king's hall, the king was sitting in on his royal throne in the in the hall, facing the entrance. When he was when he saw Queen Esther standing in the court, he was pleased with her and held out his held out held out his royal belt golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther approached and touched it touched the tip of the scepter. Then the king asked, what is, what is it, Queen Esther? What is your request? Even up to half the kingdom, it will be given. If it pleases the king, replied Esther, let the king, let the king together with Haman, come today to, to a banquet I have prepared for him. Um, that part kind of stood out to me because it kind of tells me to be courageous and that if God's on your side, that even if you ask for a crazy thing, that more than likely it will be answered if it's for the good of God. Um, the other parts that stood out to me in Esther were probably I let, um, in Esther 7 when Haman hanged him and Kang um kind of made me think because Esther got a little mad and um just there's a lot going on in there and it just made me think that a lot can happen in a short period of time um nothing much happened um uh, it talks about the greatness of Mordecai and it just lists out how great it was and everything. Um, that's pretty much all of Esther. Esther kind of was, Esther was a woman that stood up for what she believed in and, um, was very courageous and I respect her. Right. Um, look for my next videos on Job. Job. Um, see you later.